We have a quiz for you tonight. Who in the Orange County school system makes about $300,000 and is in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of one of the largest school systems in the country? It's the superintendent, Dr. Barbara Jenkins, who's now filling those shoes now. She's retiring in December. West Choose Michelle Meredith joins us live from the school board office where the search for Dr. Jenkins' replacement continues. Michelle. Well, the school board hires a superintendent and the process has been going on for months, but soon we will know who got the job. What does a safe environment look like to you? The Orange County School Board is down to the final two candidates and board members took turns interviewing both. We need to ensure that um, our employees know what to do in the event of a crisis. First up was Dr. Maria Vasquez. She's the second in command here in Orange County, the deputy supervisor. Someone who's willing to stand up in front of violence and not wait for backup. The next, Peter Lakata from Palm Beach County, the regional superintendent in that system. We asked about school safety, how to protect our children in the place that can be so dangerous. How do you address it? Well, we're going to have to look at budgetary reasons. We're going to have to look at making sure that uh, there are police officers in every school and, and there's no gap. There's no gap. Uh, campuses have to be uh, secure. There has to be that uh, one line of in, one line of out. We have to make sure that uh, we understand that budgetary reasons have to start with school security educating our teachers as to what the protocols are, making sure that the safety measures that we have in place, such as keeping doors locked, uh, asking for IDs before letting individuals in, as well as other safety measures that we have in place are followed. The superintendent is the face of the school system, basically the CEO. The current superintendent is Dr. Barbara Jenkins. She navigated Orange County, the ninth largest school system in the country, through the challenging COVID years and after 10 years is now retiring. Now the school board will make its decision next Tuesday, but if you would like to meet the candidates, they've got a little meet and greet going on right now, and it will last till 7.30. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.